Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I am Shista and welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing the complete high school study guide, everything you need to ace biology in one big fat notebook. So let's get started. We will start with the introduction and here it tells you how the notes or the book is presented. Important vocabulary words are highlighted in yellow. All vocabulary words are clearly defined. Related terms and concepts are written in blue pen. Key concepts are clearly explained and supported by diagrams, illustrations, and charts. We have the table of contents. Unit 1, Basics of Biology. Unit 2, The Chemistry of Life. Unit 3, Cell Theory. Unit 4, Bacteria, Viruses, Prions, and Viroids. Unit 5, Protists. Unit 6, Fungi. Unit 7, Plants. Unit 8, Animals. Unit 9, The Human Body. Unit 10, Genetics. Unit 11, Life on Earth. Unit 12, Ecosystems and Habitats. And they include an index. Each unit has chapters, and at the end of each chapter, there is a Check Your Knowledge. And on the back of the Check Your Knowledge is, and che is a Check Your Answers. And it is set up the same, exact, the same exact way for each chapter in the book. Now I want you to remember that this is a secular book when it comes to biology. So if you are faith-based, this may not be the book for you. I believe notebooking would be great in biology. I believe that about all the subjects actually. Now as I go through the book I don't see a lot of lab work in here but it does not mean that you cannot include labs. There are so many ways to put or add labs into your children's curriculum. So for example, here they're talking about animal cell organelles. There is a lab you can do with this, an experiment that you can do. So all you have to do is put in the work of searching it, even do a YouTube search, and you can create labs for your children. Another thing to think about with biology is that they do have to have dissections in some form. So whether it is live classes or online classes, dissections are taught, especially when you get into the body systems. They use dissections so children can get an up close and personal look at the body or the inside of the body so they can see what a heart looks like, what a liver looks like, what does lungs look like. So I know that I truly enjoyed labs with my children and I really opened up more when it came to that last one. So labs can be taught. Don't run away from it. If I could do it, you can do it. Just find a way that works for you and your children. So they have done a great job in the graphics of this book. It's not too many graphics. I believe it's just enough. And it keeps your students, even though they are high school, it still keeps them interested. So I truly appreciate the graphics and the color in this book. 
So as you can see here, they have the human body. And they would go about the whole system of all the systems. And once they do all the systems, they would then begin to break down more systems. So as you can see, there's the muscular, the skeletal, the types of muscular tissue. This is a great opportunity for a lab because if you do a lab, um, start off with something small, maybe a frog or something like that, you can definitely see those types of muscle tissues. And I will share below a link below of where I get all of my dissections and supplies. Okay, so we have come to the end of our review. If you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you are interested in the videos that I put out. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.